Hello. A question I'm always asked a lot by Terminal Geeks is why use a word processor when you can just use a text editor like Vim or Emacs? Well, there's a good reason. Uh, let me show you. Here is a line of text in a text editor. Plain text has no concept of page width, so it simply wraps at the edge of our terminal. Now we can print that and see how it looks on the page. That's the hard copy command in Vim. So you can see the page wraps at this random location because Vim didn't know where the margins were located. Now let's try that same test in a word processor. The word processor knows where the lines will wrap because it maintains an internal model of the page. You can see it knew where the lines will meet the margins and wrap them correctly. This is called display pitch. Let's look at an example of something you can do with this. Because we know the font and page dimensions, we can adjust the spacing dynamically to perform justification. Justification is simply making our text align neatly along the margin. The default is left alignment, or ragged right. You can see that the left edge is straight, and the right edge is not. But because a word processor understands font geometry, it knows how to space the words to make both edges straight. Let's try that. Now the text is fully justified. Uh, something like this is simply not possible in a text editor. This is just a simple example, but this internal model of the page allows far more complicated layouts, like newspaper columns, for example. So I've defined two columns, and as one fills up, text builds into the next column. At all times, the word processor keeps track of where words will appear. And you can see, if we print that out, it matches what we saw in the terminal. Of course, we're not limited to one font. We can add headings, styles, attributes. We can mix fonts and sizes. We can add figures and graphics. Perhaps we're writing a report and want a graph in our document. Well, we can do that too. Let me just generate a pie chart in 123 and I'll add some sample data. WordPerfect has a graphics editor so we can scale, rotate, crop and so on all from within WordPerfect. Let's see how that looks. That looks good, but I think I'd rather have a table than a chart. So let me just get rid of this figure and we'll put a table there instead. We can link our spreadsheet and our document together so that we can manage our data in 123 and our report always contains the latest data. Let's try that. Let me just enter some data into 123. I'll link that from within WordPerfect. And you can see that our 123 range is now inside our WordPerfect document. Let's try updating those figures in 123. And I'll hit update all links. And the latest data is automatically imported. Let's see how that looks. All right, looking pretty good. Uh, this was just a quick overview of why you might want to use a word processor, uh, even if you're uh, even if you're a Vim expert or Emacs expert. I've only gone over the basics of how you can use it in this video. Uh, it's actually a really powerful program. I've got a copy of the manual here, and you can see it's uh, it's a bit chunky. Um, it's got a ton of features that are rarely seen in a text user interface. In some cases, it even blurs the line between a GUI and a text interface. Um, it has graphical features such as print preview, an equation editor, an interactive graphics editor. Uh, I hope you agree it's worth checking out, and all the code is available on GitHub, so give it a shot and let me know what you think. Alright, thanks for watching!